Hey friends, uh, for these next weeks leading up to Christmas, what we're doing for these midweek snippets is um, we're, we're just diving a little bit more into some of the scripture passages that were read for the Advent candle readings on the worship service uh, the Sunday before. And in this past Sunday, one of the passages we read was this one from 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 13, which says this, In keeping with His, God's promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth the home of righteousness. And, and you know, usually we think of this season as when we're, we're celebrating uh, the coming into the world of Jesus as a baby in Bethlehem uh, 2,000 years ago, and it certainly is that. But what passages like this are, are reminding us of is that another great big theme of Advent is, is not just Jesus coming as a baby in Bethlehem, but his someday return to earth, not as a baby, but as a king. Did you realize that there are about eight times as many verses in the New Testament that speak of Jesus' return than do of his coming as a baby in Bethlehem? And also that there are 23 of the 27 New Testament documents refer to Jesus' return. So it's all over, all over the scriptures. And, uh, and for some people, the, the, the prospect of Jesus returning just seems so um, unreal. Uh, and Peter actually, in, just before these verses, refers to people like that. He talks about people who say, oh, the world just keeps going on as it always has, and, and they just can't ever imagine it being any different. And of course, on the other hand, you have people that love to, to speculate about the details of the when and the how and, and what's going to happen when he returns and all of that stuff. And um, boy, something that to me ought to really caution us about that is that, that when Jesus came the first time, none of the people on the scene got the details right, even though there have been all kinds of prophecies about it. Well, in any event, um, we don't really know the details of the when and the how of Jesus' return, but that he will return is very clear in Scripture. It also, I think, makes good sense philosophically because, you know, if we, we really do believe there's a real God who created the universe and who, who came, came once as a baby in Bethlehem, which is what we celebrate at Christmas, right? Um, it, it really makes good sense that he could do that again. But whenever and however it is that Jesus returns, uh, friends, the fact that he's going to is, is good news for us because it'll be the time when, as Peter says, when, when God's going to renew the, the, his whole creation, a new heaven, new earth where righteousness is at home, he says. And, and by that he means when, when everything will finally be uh, the way that we know that it should be. Or as, as one writer puts it, uh, when, when paradise lost will become paradise regained. So I do want to encourage us, friends, this, this Christmas time, oh yeah, go, get, go and celebrate to the full. Um, you know, how, how in Jesus, God came to planet Earth humbly as a baby and uh, celebrate that. But at the same time, uh, let's take some time also to, um, to, to really look forward to and, and anticipate with joy the fact that someday when Jesus returns, that everything that's sad, that's wrong, that's unjust, is going to become undone because Jesus, the, the one, the, the, the King of Righteousness, is going to, to return and make it so. Well, thanks so much for giving us your time today, friends.